Hey everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm gonna do a real quick general reading, not zodiac sign specific. Let us say a quick blessing and we will find out who it's for. All right, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every single breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All right, we're gonna start with this heaven and earth tarot. Find out how everybody's doing out there. the Empress upright and I got the Ace of Cups in the reverse. What in the world's happened here? I feel like somebody's decided what they want. I feel like someone um, is trying to be authentic to themselves. This is someone who, the Empress is the card of Virgo, but it's also a card of Divine Feminine. It's someone who um, could be, um, it doesn't have to be a feminine it doesn't have to be a female, but it's definitely a feminine energy when we have this empress energy that comes out. This is someone who may own their own business. They may be a mother. They may be a father. They may be a mentor of some kind. Um, they could be someone who has a lot of responsibility on their shoulders in some way. Um, and it feels like with this Ace of Cups in the reverse, they've experienced a time where they would maybe let themselves go in some way. And when I say let themselves go, what I really mean is they presented themselves in a way that wasn't authentic to them and perhaps attracted partners, friendships, um, loved ones, something like that, romantic relationships that just simply weren't working for them. And it seems like each one of these relationships kind of pulled a little bit more and more and more and more away from this empress while they were kind of, and I'm not sure exactly how this has happened. Let's look. Oh, I have the Seven of Swords crossing that. That's funny. Okay, so basically, this energy is um, known for being highly deceptive. Uh, the Seven of Swords is known for being kind of like the lying liar who lies. Someone who's always trying to get away with things. Deceptive behavior. Someone who um, tries to take things that don't belong to them. But really and truly what it means in this combination for me is that this Empress wasn't being honest about the way that they felt. They weren't being honest about who they were in some way. And it's caused them to either lose trust in the people around them or it's caused people around them to lose trust in them. So I have a brand and, and, and really this is just where this Empress energy has been and it feels like there's a major change that's happened because we have this Empress in the upright. So if this is you and you've kind of been I don't know, not, maybe just not being so honest about who you are, what it is that you want in your life. Maybe you haven't been telling um, romantic partners and partners of any kind, friends in your life, exactly how you were feeling about situations. It feels like you're kind of done with that. Um, I have this fool card that comes out in the upright position and the fool card's the number zero in the major arcana of a deck of tarot. And that means you're ready to start all over again, ready to start something new. And I always think of the um, fool card as it, it comes after the world card, which is the final card in the deck of tarot. And then we, it's like comes full circle around, right? And then we begin again. The world card's like shedding your skin. So so that you can start a, a new phase or cycle in your life and it feels like whoever I'm reading for this is the time that you're in it feels like you're kind of done with this inauthenticity good and I have the ten of cups behind that this is kind of um I have chills up my legs for some reason. Um, it's, it's kind of, I get so excited, I'm such a dork. Um, but really, this is ultimate um, emotional fulfillment. This is emotional happiness, this is well-being, this can be a family coming together, this can be um, a love relationship finally coming together. And it feels like it comes from you being very honest with uh, uh, with people about who you are all of a sudden. Okay, um, I'm gonna switch decks really quickly. Um, let's use this, let's use this vice versa to really clarify because this is an awful lot of change and it, it comes from a change of perspective for this feminine energy. All of a sudden this, um, you know how when you were a little kid, um, all of your mentors would always say, and your parents, your teachers, they would always say, you know, you just really need to be yourself. That's really the key to life is to learn how to be yourself. And as a kid, you'd always be like, what does that even mean? 
that's so dumb. I'm pretty sure that's not the way. Um, but because you know, when you're a child, you you start to learn about conformity, right? And then when you become an adult, finally, and you kind of grow into yourself, you learn that those mentors were absolutely right. Like, why would you want to conform to anything? Why would you want to be a, a square peg in a square hole? Why would you want to do that? Um, you have figured that out for yourself. It's almost like you've matured uh, into yourself. It's like you've grown into who you should be and now you're ready to share that with the world in some way. And it feels like, oh, I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna check this out because I wanna know what this Ace of Cups in the reverse and this um, Seven of Swords in the reverse is. I've got the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so, you have the seven of wands on top of the seven of swords. And this is someone who recognizes that there's been a lot of drama surrounding this empress for a while. This empress feels like they've had to fight a lot of hard battles. Um, they don't feel like they've had a lot of support from other people. Um, you know, they may have had a little bit of a chip on their shoulder at some point, or they may not have been entirely honest with people around them for whatever reason. And I always say about the Seven of Swords, there's a reason why people don't always tell the truth. Um, usually it comes from some kind of codependency where you feel like you're gonna disappoint someone or, you know, or you're gonna, you, could feel like you're gonna hurt someone's feelings by telling the truth a lot of times um, people will behave that way but this is someone who feels like they've they've kind of been through it they've experienced a lot of drama and a lot of fallout in their lives because of you know this inauthenticity I don't know any other way to describe it other than inauthenticity because it'll be specific to if this is your reading it will be spe specific to each person individually as to what that means I've got the Queen of Cups in the reverse um, this is someone who wasn't always honest in their love relationships this is someone who I'm seeing all these cups stacked up here um, this could be someone who's broken a lot of hearts Oof. Um, mm. This is someone who was quite intent on being on their own and being very independent to the point that it um, led to some kind of a demise or something like that. And that does sound a little bit high drama, but it's this could be how you're feeling. Um, and this doesn't necessarily have to be you as this Empress energy. This may be someone hovering in your energy. So you'll just have to be very honest with yourself here. And I think that's the key to watching any kind of tarot is you need to be very honest with yourself about who you are and which character you or role you represent, if any, in each of these stories. And sometimes it's not your day and sometimes that's a good thing, right? Um, but if this is your reading, then you may have left a trail of heartbreak behind you with this inauthenticity. Mm. And it could have caused a lot of pain in yourself as well. I have the Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Ace of Wands in the reverse. I'm not going to pull those out because they didn't flip all the way out. But Ten of Swords in the reverse can be um, endings that you dragged out for too long. Things that you let go on for too long. Um... And the Ace of Wands in the reverse can be, it can be everything from a lack of in, it's, it can be in action or it can be um, uh, failed um, relationships because of sexual promiscuity possibly. Uh, let's see here. And I have this um, King of Pentacles right here that's crossing this. This is someone who feels like they've left someone behind in lieu of someone else almost it feels this is someone who feels like they have to move forward in a way that's more stable um, financially stable functionally stable and this is someone who's kind of questioning what kind of relationships they want for the future. You could be pulling in this king of Pentacles into your energy. Um, it goes right underneath this fool card. Um, I was wondering about this Ace of Cups in the reverse because this Ace of Cups in the reverse, which was your second card out, this can be a lot of tears cried over relationships and situations. Um, and when the Six of uh, Wands comes out in the reverse with that, it feels like you could have a lot of people upset with you. You could have um, burned some bridges. Hmm. You could have some haters. <laughs> you could have some haters out there. You could, um, 
could have made some enemies in some way, and I hate that for anybody. No one should ever have to live with enemies, you know. Oof, okay. And I have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You went through a bad time. Yeah. Everybody has ups and downs in their lives, and sometimes our ups and our downs come with... Um, you know, problems that we cause, problems that other people cause, you know, but really and truly, this can be about um, working through some of those shadow sides, shadow aspects of ourselves where we have, um, I don't know, it's like the, the blindfold comes off and the real you is kind of exposed to yourself and you go, oh my God, I'm hideous, you know? You may have had one of those moments recently, something like that. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, the reverse, can feel like stepping in a big karmic pile of shit, kind of, and not knowing how to get yourself out of it. Um, and this really feels all like the things you've been through, okay? And it feels like all of this is shifting and all of this is changing. And we have a brand new beginning that pulls whoever this, whoever embodies this Empress energy out and sends them, propels them towards a new path where they are seeking stability and they are seeking, um, honestly, true love here with this Ten of Cups. And there's a real honesty that comes with this which is nice to see, right? And I have the High Priestess in the reverse. Um, whatever this is that's coming towards you, I don't think you're gonna expect it. If this is your energy that you're coming out of, I can see why you would not be expecting this to happen because it kind of comes out of nowhere. It's sort of a shock and awe kind of surprise. Um, and I think that you were someone who's kind of convinced yourself for a while that you maybe, and I hate to say this about anybody, but it sounds almost like you felt like you were a little unworthy of love for a while because of some of these past choices that you'd made or something like that. You're hard on yourself, very hard on yourself. Well, everyone makes mistakes. Don't be so hard on yourself. I have the Knight of Cups on top of this Ten of Cups. You're going to be very surprised by an offer that you receive. Now, what's interesting, though, is it happens at night. We have a lot of, again, nighttime energy. I noticed this was present in another reading I did yesterday or the day before. Um, this, this is going to be something that comes around at night towards you. And I don't know if you know this person. This person has their back turned to you right now. And I think that it's gonna be a surprise, just as much as a surprise for you as possibly for them. Um, it can come out of nowhere. You may not have ever met this person before. And I have the world card perfect. Um, this is what I was hoping to see. Remember I was talking about the world card being the final card in a major deck of Tarot and the fool card being the, um, the first one. So you're wrapping up a cycle. It's a major change, shedding your skin so that you can start something new. It's a time for you to feel better about yourself. There's a time to shift this wheel of fortune into the upright position. And it feels like you are in, in a position to do this. You have some new love that's coming towards you. You're not even going to expect it. You don't even, uh, it'll surprise you. It's going to be a surprise. I think it'll be an offer that happens at night um, when the stars are out for sure um, and whoever you are you've done a lot of tremendous healing you've really grown into yourself and you should be really proud of yourself I know that you may have done things in the past that you weren't so proud of but this is a different day this is a different time and we're looking at a different phase in your life so you just keep on keeping on whoever you are and thank you for letting me read for you I'll see you again soon